Hmm.
That's hard to imagine. And you're saying Sawa-sensei was given this picture? Right. And it must have really shaken her up. She wouldn't even stick around to have a chat. Some mysterious woman handed her the photo. She's got to be linked to Hiromika Shiba's murder in one way or another. If I had to guess, she's working with or for Ehara. But I couldn't tell you how they're connected. It might even be that she's the one who hired the Yokohama Leomong to attack you at that restaurant. If they're telling you to drop the Mikoshiba case, they're connected too. <laughs> a threat like that might have worked on a run-of-the-mill detective in over his head. But how do you think you even got on their radar at all, Yagamishi? Mikoshiba's case is so big they needed hired muscle to stop you? If I'm that much of a thorn in their side, the police investigation is worse. Yeah, that's true. Even if they stop you in your tracks, Kanagawa police would just pick up the trail right where you left off. I have to figure. I'm not the one they were really there to threaten into staying silent. It was Sawa-sensei. Four years ago, when Toshiro Ihara killed himself, apparently, she thought Mikoshiba was the one bullying him. I set up that meeting with her so she could tell me more about what really happened at the time. But as of now, someone's pretty bent on making sure she doesn't reveal that. That'd be my guess. Well, if that's the case, I'm afraid their threats were actually pretty effective. Sawa-sensei's lips are sealed now. There's not much we can really do about it. Don't worry. I'm not near done yet. Besides, they've already made one big mistake. Yeah? They hired a gang thinking they could scare a detective off the scent. No way in hell they're expecting me to double down even harder on it. <laughs> You're totally right. That was a rather massive oversight on their part. That night, the news broke on every channel and across the internet that the corpse found in Ijincho had been identified. Every student, teacher, and faculty member at Serio High School would know how Hiro Mikashiba died. The details were heartbreaking, and a lot of lives were about to be turned upside down. The alleged bully, Hiro Mikashiba, turns up dead. There is no mistaking the motive in his murder. As Yagami looks into the heart of the matter, a suicide four years prior, he is met with brutal backlash from the underworld. Why does Yagami face resistance at every turn? As night falls over Ichincho, the answer slips further into darkness. Yes, we have grief counselors on site. Hello. You've reached yes. Serio High School. Ah, uh, yes. Right. It's tragic news. Miko Shibakun was one of our student teachers here, and the school is coping with it as best we can. Of course! Yes, our parents and guardians have every right to be upset about this. Yes. Oh, yes. We're now to the murder victim found in Izazaki Ijingsho. Yes. Authorities announced that they have identified the body as Hiro Mikoshiba, a student teacher at Seirio High School. Autopsy reports indicate the cause of death was blood loss from a sharp object. Mikoshiba was reported oh. as a missing person two months ago. So, what's the plan today, fellas? Honest, this hangover is kicking my ass. I'm gonna be kind of useless. Uh, maybe don't drink until sunrise. That's no good. Without you, Kaito-san, who's going to be the brains of this whole operation? <laughs> You'll have to manage, man. I figure I'll head back to Serio High today. I should check in on Sawa-sensei, see how she's holding up. She's got a lot on her shoulders now, huh? Pretty teacher like her doesn't deserve it. Right from the outset, Sawa-sensei flat-out denied that Mikoshiba ever bullied Toshiro Ihara. But then we learned she confronted him about his actions four years ago. Which means she was starting to suspect he was the bully. Then some chicken shades shows up, makes some threats, and suddenly teacher's lips are sealed shut, huh? 
Whoever she was, she has to be involved with the murder. How else could she have Mikoshiba's picture from right before he died? It's almost like the killer was trying to hide any trace of bullying. And if so, that's pretty bizarre. Why is that? I mean, if Mikoshiba really was the bully, why bother covering that up? Wouldn't it work in their favor if word of that spread? That way the murder would be, I don't know, more justified? Yeah, I do see the logic there. Okay. But what gets me is, why would Sawa-sensei change her answer like that? Have you considered she may have been pressured to hide the truth? Perhaps by an overcautious superior? I wouldn't put it past Chairman Okuda to pull something like that. I doubt he has that kind of sway over her, though. Sawa-sensei doesn't exactly mince words with him. Guess we'll have to ask her directly if we really want to know. Yeah, but didn't she make it pretty clear you need to keep your distance? What kind of a detective would I be if I gave up because of that? <laughs> Point taken. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, sure is. Help me kick this damn hangover. Say what? Might as well hang back, Sugira. Only I can get in and out of the school without raising a red flag right now. Keeping up with that handyman was a hell of a job. <laughs> I deserve a little R&R. Man, why am I stuck babysitting the drunk gorilla while you get to go have fun? <laughs>